Davey from the Strive to Fit here with another vlog. As you guys know, I started my ob -GYN, um rotation this past week, so I have a little bit of studying to do, so I'm going to be doing that this morning. I'm wearing my I'm hangry crop top because I'm hangry. <laughs> I'm going to get some breakfast too. for now I'm gonna try to go to the grocery store get some of my grocery shopping done today let's go let's do a quick Q&A session in here you ask me a question and I'll answer it what do you say? Okay. What's your favorite color? Pink. What's your favorite month? <laughs> um, <clears throat> May, when it starts to get warm. What's your least favorite month? February, because the winter is never ending. What's a place you want to visit? I would love to visit um, England and Scotland. And in the US, I would love to visit Nashville. Of all the places you've visited, what's your favorite? My favorite place that I've visited so far in the U.S. is Portland, Seattle. And in internationally, probably, I like, I like Bali. Bali. <clears throat> yeah. Favorite podcast? Serial. Favorite movie? Um, it's a movie called Closer. I don't know who directed it. But Natalie Portman, <clears throat> Clive Owen, Julia Roberts, and Jude Law are in it. Favorite fast food restaurant? KFC or Chick-fil-A. Yes. Shake Shack or Five Guys? Shake Shack. In-N-Out or Shake Shack? The last time I had In-N-Out was over five years ago, I think. So. Shake Shack. Ooh. <laughs> Starting wars here. Alright guys, here's my grocery haul from Wegmans today. I like to have a lot of snacks on hand, so I have some of these Hobani Flip Pumpkin Harvest Crisp yogurt. They're really good. Got some 1% milk fat cottage cheese, some applesauce pouch, you guys know I love these, some avocados. This I thought was really interesting, It's they're called kiwi berries, they're really small but when you cut it, it's supposed to look like a kiwi so I can't wait to try these. Got some uh, brie cheese, some cut watermelon, some of these uh, baby potatoes, I'm, I think I'm going to roast them as a side. Um, got a little salad pack that I'm gonna eat with my um, chicken breast. Got a thing of lobster mac and cheese just because they look so good. Um, some of these um, cheese cubes. They're like aged Parmesan cheese. They're really good for snacking. And then I picked up some of these um, bars that I can keep them in my white coat. So I got the Mediterra kale and pumpkin seeds and I thought it was interesting because it says it's savory bar and most of the snack bars are like sweet tasting so I wanted to try this one. Um, RX bar, um, I like them a lot. I haven't tried this uh, flavor, maple sea salt. At least I don't think I have tried them so I got one of these and I got this honey stinger honey waffle. I've had these before. Um, they're really good. And I got some of these rice pop cakes and these are the best like sort of mindless snacks because they're like 15 calories per piece and one piece is like this whole thing so it's like pretty big. And I got some uh, spicy shrimp crackers and some potato chips. One thing I picked up on my way home from a Korean grocery store is this they're supposed to be like a really spicy 
noodles from Korea. People have been doing some like spicy ramen challenges um, and I thought it might be fun to do one. So, babe, do you want to try one? Okay. Okay, so we'll, we'll try these spicy um, noodles for you guys. Hi guys, so we're doing the spicy noodle challenge. I think the challenge is just me eat it. We'll see how spicy it is. Okay, so what we do is we're gonna put in this spicy sauce in the noodles. The noodles are already cooked. Spicy sauce. And then we're gonna put this flake thing on top and then we're gonna mix it together. Actually, um, can I, can I have a fork instead of a chopstick? A fork? Yeah. Aren't you Asian? Come on, please. Okay. Hold on. Please. There is a fork for you. Not as mixed in, as well mixed as mine. Oh uh, yeah, I need to do a better job mixing. Yeah. Oof, that looks spicy. Oh wow. That is so spicy. <laughs> Does it burn? That is so spicy. Let's see if you can finish first though. Oh man, I don't know if I can finish this. It's so spicy. I think I'm gonna finish before you. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. It's kinda it's really good. I like it. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it hurts my mouth. <laughs> you think you can finish it off? No, let's switch. <laughs> let's switch. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Do you want to know the truth? I only put a little bit and I threw the rest over there. Oh my god! I knew it! <laughs> put like less than half. Yeah, I, I barely put anything in. Oh my god, no wonder. Like white. <laughs> You know what's deceiving? The, when you first taste it, mm -hmm. it's sweet. But then as it goes down, it gets super hot. You know, I think the key is to just finish it as fast as you can. Okay, go ahead. Hey guys, so it's a little late, it's like 10 o'clock. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of studying and heading to bed soon. So I just want to talk about a quick um, thing that I've been doing for this rotation. Um, for the Obigan rotation, we have a list of topics that at any moment um, a resident or an attending could ask us to present any of the topics. Um, so it's at first I didn't like it because it means I have to be prepared at all times to present um, at least one topic any day. Um, but I actually have found it to be a really useful study tool because what I'll do is normally in the first week of rotation, that's when I kind of take things easy because I know like shelf exam is really far away. So I just do my rotations and I don't really do a ton of studying. But um, because of the, this topic presentation requirement, I've been doing a little bit of um, like a review slash like studying every night. So I'll make a little like note card. So this is um, preeclampsia, one of the topics that I had to present. I made like a two... Um, note card summary of preeclampsia and what's important, um, like what are the requirements for the diagnosis and how you treat it, how you manage it, and just making like a little summary card for them and I've been keeping them with me just in case somebody asked me to present. Um, and I think this little bit of like tiny, like tiny bites of studying has been like a very effective because like I'm, I'm actually what I'm doing is I'm studying for the shelf which is six weeks away but I'm doing it in tiny little chunks so it makes it much more manageable and I think this is a concept that you guys can apply to your um, studying as well whether you're studying medicine or not because 
like when you have a really busy day, it can be easy to say, well, I'm just going to take it easy today and not study. Um, but if you do just like a little tiny topic and you master that topic, that's just, um, it'll help you later on when you have to prepare for your exam if you're not cramming in the end. So a uh, lesson to be learned, I'm going to do a little bit of studying every night so that number one, I'm prepared for my presentations, but number two, um, I'll be more prepared for my shelf later on and I don't have to um, rush or cram to prepare for it. All right, guys, it's getting pretty late and my hair is looking crazy. Um, just going to do a quick thing before I go to bed. Um, I showed you guys this in the Instagram thing. It's like a, a knot tying practice kit. So you can try tying knots here or here. Actually, not sure what to do with this thing. Maybe you're supposed to reach in and do something. I'm not sure. I've been practicing mostly on these two um, rubber bands. Um, and this rope just makes it easier. Plus, it um, it's like different colors on each side. So you can, um, when you're following along a guide from a book, something like this, um, it's much easier to tell which side is what. So this is, um, I'll show you the, the book. And I'll link everything in the in the description box below. So this is the book, Surgical Knots and Suturing Techniques. I have some equipments here. Um, and just gonna practice some knots before I go to bed. thing I do before going to bed I'm gonna answer some snapchat questions that you guys sent in a couple weeks ago I'm just gonna do a few right now um, I'll do the rest in either another vlog or I'll make a separate video for it yeah that'll be the last thing I do before going to bed mm -hmm.